Oi, oi, oi. So, we're still in prep work. Um, that's dangling out quite a lot. I'd really quite quite like to have that in a, uh, in a rest, but uh, I'm afraid uh, that's, uh, that's not happening. Don't have a rest to take it. Um, what else are we prepping? I bought some bearings. I went to the bearing shop and uh, they wanted 70 euros for a pair of bearings so I've got a couple of uh, bearings coming from eBay from the BBC, the Baltic Bearing Company I don't know if they're any better than Chinese bearings but uh, I'm kind of convincing myself that they are and I've bought some aluminium welding rods these are aluminium stick welding rods um, because my mate with his TIG welder um, is uh, is unavailable at the moment so I'm going to be having a bit of a practice with those later maybe we'll get some footage for that maybe we won't I don't know I'll probably use the other camera if I do so anyway we're going to square this off because it's sort of rough cut and uh, and we'll go from there For the list, we're at 160 millimeters, just less, 159. 159 mil. I'm not going to take the other the other nine mil off to make it around 150. But there we go. That's one piece of. There. Four people tell me off. So that's one piece of, uh, I should probably, I should probably just, just whiz that edge off as well. So whiz that off, hang on. The body, the body, trepan ends. The trepanning did uh, did go well in the end, although uh, it, I did have to sacrifice one of the one of the bits. Um, that was not surprising, really. Um, going in that deep, going in, you know, twenty five mil into uh, into there with a with a two by eight. Uh, the two by eight trepanning bit that was always going to be a bit ambitious so um, that's done the next the next operations are going to be well have a play with some welding and I'm going to need to turn a Morse 3 arbor with a little straight bit on it so I can hold it in the chuck as well um, and that will be to turn the gear blanks on and to use to uh, to mill the gear blanks as well. Um, and we're now set up for turning uh, moss taper. Well, we're not we're not set up turning the moss taper. I'm going to turn it square for a start, um, and then we'll mark it up for a moss taper. And turning between centres, I've popped a couple of centres in there. That's a piece of XC48. Again, it's axle steel, it's lovely. Um, it's hard. Um, I'm not sure that my insert is in a very good state. In fact, I'm fairly sure it's not. But uh, there you go, we've got a cat head dog on there. So if that, if that amuses you, well, I suppose I should probably tighten that up, shouldn't I? Let's, uh, let's tighten that. This is a, it's a drive dog that doesn't stick out as much. There's not quite as much risk of, uh, of catching yourself on it. Not that you should be anywhere near a fucking drive dog when it's spinning around. I've got another one there, uh, which 
which is just a piece of a piece of bar stock with a couple of notches in it. Um, another one here. Um, these really are horrible, dangerous, and they will bite. So yeah, you're going to stay away from it as much as possible. Now, uh, morse tapers are a bit of a bugger um, because uh, there's nothing standard about them. Um, morse 1 is not the same angle as morse 2, is not the same angle as morse 3, is not the same angle as morse 4, and so on, because they were done in a bit of an ad hoc manner. Now, uh, the, uh, the magic of trigonometry, as I mentioned, tells me that if I move the cross slide along the, uh, the hypotenuse of the triangle that we want to make it by uh, 10 millimeters. We need to go in, or out, in fact, by 0.25 millimeters. So that is what we're going to do. And in fact, rather than going 10 and 0.25, oh, we're going to be going 40 and 1. Okay, I am happy with that. So the next thing, so what we're going to do, set up and start a turnage. Ah, come on you bugger. Uh, it'd help if I put that in the right way around, wouldn't it? Now I am going to need to adjust my cross slide. Oh, we've got no more battery. Okay, right, well, we'll let that go off. I'm going to have to get on with this or without the camera. We'll see you later, maybe. Bye. There we have it. One Morse 3 to 22 millimeter. It's keyed on this end, debird that. It's got an M12 drawbar thread in that end. Needs an M10 thread in this end um, to hold things on. And away we are going. So basically, what we need to make now. There's a little stepped 22 to 35 with, again, that will have, uh, have key slots in and out, uh, and then we'll be able to we'll be able to do our uh, to do our to do our gears. I've just uh, trimmed down some blanks. There's one. 
there's another. Uh, the first one is probably a bit thick. But I don't have anything that's uh, that's at the right uh, the right dimension, so I'll probably have to turn quite a lot of that into chips. But there we go. That's um, I'm quite pleased with that. That's, this stuff's lovely to turn. It gives a beautiful finish. I mean, that's a straight off the that's a straight off the straight off the machine finish. Um, you can barely feel any any imperfections in it. And there are. It does wave slightly. There's probably I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But it's uh, it's bang on. It's bang on square, and um, and yeah, that will that will do the trick quite nicely. Fits into the uh, fits into the into the Morse three sleeve on the on the indexing head. We've got contact along two thirds, three quarters of it. It could probably do with grinding otherwise, but uh, but that's not bad. Especially given that the sleeve on the inside of the uh, the indexing head's a bit cack as well. So anyway, we're going to leave it there. I'm going to edit some video and then maybe I'll have a play with Mr. Spitz and Sparks, the welding machine. Bye.